don't say nothing about that shit. When they say more money, more problems I'm thinking I don't got an option I'm working on fixing my conscience I'm taking no sucks with no loss I'm finding some peace when the meds came I'm finding some peace when the chairs came I'm a provider, that's the best thing I do it for y'all, that's some bad thing Yeah, yeah Do it for y'all, that's some bad thing I stay on my job, that's some bad thing Give it to them hard, that's some bad thing I stack all these racks, that's some bad thing I buff on these packs, that's some bad thing Ain't no going back, that's some bad thing Wasn't to a situation for obliteration Stuck us in the projects and started us racing Kissing up the game like we about to hit a base Stacking money cause we have to show the what they really facing Invest, invest in a motherfucking vest We about to go to war and it's never gonna rest I know there's no peace in the streets of America Land where the dark people stress Oh yes. It's one of them things to the time that we hang I can see all the pain in the eyes of the brain They infuse my fire like a kerosene blaze When I learn my true heritage and work is trying to save Different answers I did that then I can do this Definitely prove this nigga's on his own shit Taking my heritage and front with that metal piece So your motherfucker better see And the sisters Come on this time is With a little wild home Went to a diamond by a carpet Stop trying to have a coke And a smile If you're not with the move And I bleed for my people Every inch, every mile Fly away, fly away You don't like what I say I'm coming from mine And you all gonna pay I can see you afraid What is the one of your And a mule That you promised yesterday Okay I do this for my people Not equal, we original Kind of make sense While you motherfuckers Copy style I can break it down Like a motherfucking pound Never round If you really wanna get it right now I do this for my people Not equal, we original Kind of make sense While you motherfuckers Copy style I can break it down Like a motherfucking pound I'm around if you really wanna Yeah. When they say more money, more problems I'm thinking I don't got an option I'm working on facing my conscience I'm taking no sucks with no losses I'm finding some peace when the meds came I'm finding some peace when the chance came I'm a provider, that's the best thing I do it for y'all, that's some bad thing Yeah, yeah, do it for y'all, that's some bad thing I stay on my job, that's some bad thing Give it to them hard, that's some bad thing I stack all these racks, that's some bad thing I buff on these back, that's some bad thing Ain't no going back, that's some bad thing Hey, watch your trick, need to kill it, I say it's all They can't face it like a man, get the best of two damn songs Call a nigga in the cross, they mess with call bomb Like you bust up at the job, the cycle is not long Not to mention prison, not living, they kill you so long Can you see the plan, killing ain't the people with a call It's awful, but no one is left, staring in all We so geese, is a time, cheering on, kill a man This world crumbling like Mary Jane Just to keep my focus clear while I'm driving the left lane The wood switch lane, but it's so my damn pain In the past, waiting on the brain, is if I feel the pain This ain't my only excuse, this is how they made me This is people in my head, and they all hate me But I'm a soldier, you motherfuckers can't take me On everything I love is the truth, you can't break me So to my ancestors, listen to my spirit If you hear it, it's enough to make you care what fucking spirit My life is like a bus and I'ma be the one to steer it I'm fighting for my people on everything to be clear And I'm watching progress and you know we fed up You really gonna hate us when we get our bread up Say look, black nation, I'm glad they're patient It's time to make the doctor really see the sick patient When they say more money, more problems I'm thinking I don't got an option I'm working on facing my conscience I'm taking no sucks with no loss I'm finding some peace when the meds came I'm finding some peace when the chairs came I'm a provider, that's the best I do it for y'all, that's some bad thing Yeah, yeah, do it for y'all, that's some bad thing I stay on my job, that's some bad thing Give it to them hard, that's some bad thing I stack all these racks, that's some bad thing I buff on these packs, that's some bad thing Ain't no going back, that's some bad thing We y'all stay in strap, that's some bad thing We're going to be discussing the differences between arrest and detainment. So y'all make sure y'all tune in. We're going down here in just a minute. You heard me. You know how it is on BOSS Radio, baby. BOSS Radio, Southside Bosses, its owners and associates take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guests. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of the site or the radio station and opinions between talk show hosts may conflict. This site does not endorse anything as the truth that you will have to judge for yourself. But we try to speak the truth on the owner's behalf and reserve the right to question the supposed truth. In this time of misinformation, government controlled media, and government corruption, it is sometimes hard to get to the truth, but we must try. It is not our intention to libel, discriminate, make hate, or annoy anyone. We believe that it is our constitutional First Amendment right of free speech to voice our opinions and our duty to the Constitution and country to expose the truth. This site takes no responsibility for the opinions of others and the postings of comments in chat rooms or forum posts. Tell me, do you got love for me? When I feel so ugly, ugly, ugly. Yeah. Me, I got pain. Don't think you feel. 
What in the world I'm supposed to do? Tell me, do you know? Cause young Izzy has no hint or clue. Just because I found God doesn't mean I'm brand new. Oh, he's just a church boy. No, he don't hurt boy. What you think I'm blind and I don't know about that work boy? Please don't be fooled. I'm from the same neighborhood as you. Deep boys, crack things, running from them boys in blue. Trash on the ground, filled with broken glass. Ganja in the air, welcome to the lower class. Young is on the porch, static wasting all the time. Trying to come up very fast, static selling nicks and dimes. Home at 25 with an eighth grade education. It's happening in your town, matter of fact, around the nation. I can be that jit when nobody loves to hug me. I'm praying every night, wondering if he loves ugly. Homie, I got pain. Aggressive, I'm gonna get myself killed. $20 for a trick, I know I'm worth more than this. I wanna change my life, God, I really wanna quit. But who gonna take me as I am? Preacher said that I am damned. Every man that ever smiles sees me as a piece of ham. Got a virus in my body from a man who robbed and raped me. The way I live my life is sorta of like modern slavery. And my pen will let me go. How in the world I'll make my dough? Turning tricks to make a buck is all this girl has ever known. On the house, I look in. If you never drunk from my mug, please tell me what is the love? Cause I don't see it on earth. Been having sex with these men since five years after my birth. I was raped and abused by my mother's second husband. Ever since then, I've been chasing down loving. I'm ugly. I'm only trying to eat, trying to satisfy my hunger. I've been unemployed since I got back to the States. Been fighting overseas, yeah, just for your sake. I suffer every day from post-traumatic stress. The war it plays back in my head, it was a mess. I've seen many men die, many men cry, cry. get in my hand, I cry out to the Lord, why? I never had a family to take care of my needs. Just the VA helps sometimes, but I'm in need of more leads. This housing is expensive. Proceeding all my wages I swear that I'm a dog locked up in society's cages You people say I'm lazy But you don't understand It is not easy for a war veteran So I'm crying out loud To the one who dwells above me Hoping by chance that he does love ugly I'm I ugly. got pain Don't think you feel it I got this right Don't think they hear me I feel so lost and afraid Jacob Israel putting it down with God Loves Ugly. A perfect song, especially in this um, revolutionary hour, you know. Well, our free will happens to put us in circumstances where it, it affects another person's free will. And then that causes somebody's rights to be violated. And that's when a law is, is broken. And, you know, law enforcement has to get involved. And, you know, then, then the judge has to get involved. And then you're punished and sentenced and all this. You know, it's, it's 
it's a whole ordeal that has been actually been utilized uh, in a horrible way against people, um, mainly mainly black people or the so the so called black people, but actually been used with all types of of nationalities in this country in this late in these past few decades, you know, in the past couple of decades, you know. So like, we, I feel like Revolutionary Hour has to tackle these these positions, you know, and help you understand exactly how to be able to get through certain circumstances. And right now we're going to be talking about how, how to uh, determine an arrest and a detainment and what your rights is during these arrests and detainments. See, there's a lot of misconfusion, there's a lot of confusion, excuse me, not misconfusion, a lot of confusion going around. You know, it's said with the, with what's go, especially what's going on with society, you know, it said, should we trust the police and this, this, that, that, you know, and this is very, very, that's very, very, a very hard concept to grasp because you know these people were supposed to be put in positions to protect us and well if you actually read the law to the letter of it you actually see otherwise so we're going to be talking about uh like i say what what an arrest is and what a detainment is and uh if you read the black's law dictionary uh the fourth edition an arrest means a seizable or forcible restraint that's the first definition. The second definition is the taking or, or keeping of a person in custody by legal authority, especially in response to a criminal charge, specifically the apprehension of someone for the purpose of securing the administration of law, especially of bringing that person before a court. So, no, you did not see arrest in uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, that was called dominatrix. You know, that's two totally different things right there. You know what I'm saying? So, we got to understand that real talk. <laughs> But uh, if you go, uh, if you actually understand uh, law, do you know that a police are given legal authority by the U.S. government to carry out their obligation established in a legal statute? And when we say police, a lot of people get that confused with what the corporation's security force is called, which is the police, you know what I'm saying? But when the law was written, the law was originally written to, uh, especially in U.S. English law, that the sheriff was the only person in the county that could actually have arrest powers. You know, so, which is why all county jails are ran by the sheriffs. You know, you'll never see a police jail actually arresting people. You know, you'll never see that. You always see them detaining people. And when they hold them, they take them to uh, to the sheriff's office. Now, there has been a situation in uh, Florida, this uh, in the year 2011, matter of fact, where a township dismantled the entire police force and the patrolling duties was converted back to the sheriff's office. Now, can you imagine a city with no police? I mean, they gotta, you would think it ought to be crazy, right? Uh, nah, not with all them sheriffs rolling around. You know, sheriffs got the real uh, authority to arrest you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, in a way... That's kind of a good thing because you really hardly ever hear, uh, I'm not saying it'll ever happen, but you hardly ever hear about a, a sheriff deputy uh, accidentally shooting down uh, some, some unarmed man. Not saying it doesn't happen. We all know that Sandra Bland lost her life in the sheriff's jail in Dallas. So we're not saying that it, it is a, a all around solution to the problem, but it is a very big solution to the problem because you can see where the sheriff have their duties and where the police have their duties. And we we'll see how these police get in the way with so much murder. If you actually read the letter of the law, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like I said, most arrests are conducted through traffic stops and those are actually detainments. There is not, those are not arrests. A lot of people think that they're being arrested whenever they get pulled over and the police put them in handcuffs. But that is actually just a detainment right there. We got to understand that. So processing is uh, when they verify your identity, uh, verify your identity so they can determine if they have the jurisdiction to be able to say that you broke one of their laws. And by verifying whether you are a U.S. citizen, resident, uh, and if you have co a conviction or arrest record or even outstanding warrants by verifying you know, photos and uh, fingerprints. Now, I don't care what anybody tells you. Since your photo and your fingerprints are a part of your identity, which is a part of your body, which is your personal, uh, which is your person, meaning that that should be your property, right? Then you shouldn't you shouldn't really have to give that up. By law, you do not necessarily have to offer them your fingerprints or your photo. Now I know what you're thinking, man. If I don't give them that, they ain't gonna never let me go. They gonna throw me in that little cell right there, and they ain't gonna never charge. They they never gonna get it. But you're right. You're right, because legally by law, they could, they only supposed to have you seventy two uh, hold you for seventy two hours without charging you, right? But if they hit you with that obstruction of justice, which 
Robert Mueller couldn't even pin on a president, so I don't see how they be pinning it on us over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if they don't, if you don't give them that, then they can hit you with obstruction of justice, which holds you until you go to court the next day or whatnot. But even then, you know, what I said uh, the judge will have to actually uh, grant in your favor. So, it, because it's it's your property that you you not you cannot be forced to give it up without due process which is why you have to wait to go to court and then why the judge will actually unless there's some hardcore evidence that proves that you have already committed another crime so on and so forth you know what I'm saying but it is your property and you do not have to get it up so don't let nobody tell you otherwise now however they, they, like I said they get away with this by charging you with obstruction of justice or resisting arrest with violence. Now, I got a crazy story about this because I've been beat the hell up because I resisted arrest with violence. But when it came down to it, when they was asked what was the charge I was being arrested for, the police couldn't, couldn't establish one. So that charge of resisting arrest with violence was thrown out. But I spent time in jail. This is how you get you. You know what I said? They could arrest you for something and then it's like, Pretty much like the, uh, how whenever you was a, had a cable uh, provider or whatnot, or internet provider, and you had uh, automatic bill pay, and they had your credit card on file, but you went to cancel the, the service, and the next month they still hit you with it. But, oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. We're going to get that out to you in 7 to 10 business days. That, well, it's too late. You done took my money. <laughs> and with that money, they go make some more money off of it, and then they go give it back to you. You know, that's exactly how the, uh, it works whenever they falsely arrest you. They, they keep you in jail and then they get paid for keeping you in jail through this false arrest. And you can't, that's why you cannot give them any more than they already have. So that's why we're going to be definitely talking about what your rights is in this because uh, how to handle arrest, you know, because uh, without this proper knowledge, we end up doing things th that puts us in worse predicaments and and there's so many mores out there that's picked up the UCC redemptions and picked up the uh, uh, the sovereign citizen movement. And now they see that, that the police have been trained to see you as domestic terrorists, which I think is very funny because when the white boys go shoot up a whole school or something, they're never considered domestic terrorists. But you, you want to call me a terrorist because I sent a whole bunch of paperwork to the courthouse? I'm a terrorist. I'm a paper terrorist. Where is that? If you can't call these white boys domestic terrorists, I don't think you should be able to call us paper terrorists. But hey, that's how they've been trained to look at us. So you got to be careful with the information that you get your hands on and you have to understand how to use that information. So one thing you have to remember that it is important for more is to know that the main component is to, it, this is anybody, is to not speak to the police. You don't speak to the police. I mean, besides six nine, who would want to actually talk to them, right? <laughs> I'm saying, unless you six nine out here or a six nine type of person, you're not going to be really trying to talk to the police, or you don't really want to talk to the police. So don't try to, because what they're doing is trained police are trained to inquire, which is the root word for inquisition, which will bring you just bring you to the Spanish Inquisition when they was uh, where they take all their training from. And but it is uh, they're trained to inquire. And when they make the, when you make the mistake of trying to explain yourself to the police and law enforcement in general, when under questioning you and do not realize what uh, you are saying, then that can be used against you in a court of law. Remember, they police may not know law, but they know inquisition tactics, which can get you to say something you didn't want to say. And now you're going to throw in jail when all you got stopped for was a busted tail light or something. So we can definitely got to make sure you 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 uh, understand that you do not have to talk to them. Now, nine times out of ten, the officer does not know what you're talking about, and this is why. It is for Moors out there who try to speak about their right to travel and things of that nature, the police aren't trained to handle that. They're trained to handle the U.S. citizen who does not have the right to travel, who has the permission to have a driver's license, the permission to drive. So they're they they have the authority over people who have the permission. To drive, you know, but when you exercise your right to travel, they don't know nothing about that. They wasn't trained in that. So you telling them all about your right to travel. All you're doing is letting yourself be known that you are a UCC redemptionist and you are a sovereign citizen, which makes no sense because you really can't be sovereign and a citizen. You got to be one or the other, you know, saying a citizen to a sovereign nation or you are a sovereign by yourself, which you are expatriated from any nation. And that means you are stateless. Now, 
we talked about that in previous episodes. So if y'all ain't heard that, when you get through it this way, y'all go back and rewind. If you're on Revolutionary Y'all right now, you'll be able to go scroll down and see that episode right there where we talk about uh, about expatriation and repatriation. So unless you are an exp- unless you expatriate, you ain't a citizen of no city. I mean, of no country, then or any state, then you cannot be. You just the only way you can be sovereign. That's the only way. So anybody that tells you that they are a sovereign citizen, you can actually slap them in their head right now. But this is also like a some you going out to a restaurant and you order a medium steak and they bring out a medium steak. You see the blood in it and you trying to tell these people it's medium rare. Well, you wanted a medium well steak. You didn't know how that steak was going. You don't know how to cook steak. So you don't. You, you made a, a, a bad call on that one. Well, that's what the police are. They don't know anything about being a Moor and being a, 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 a American national or a Moorish American or a Moorish national. You know, they don't know anything about that. They're used to dealing with nothing but U.S. citizens. So you have to deal with them in that capacity. That's why you don't say anything. You give them just enough information that where they'll be able to make their arrest or make their detainment or give you your ticket or not. That's all you need to do. Stop talking to these people. For real, for real. I mean, I don't understand it. <laughs> and like, and yes, like you heard me right. Like, like Billy Bob can not be a domestic terrorist, but you can be a domestic terrorist simply putting in paperwork to the court. So make sure you know what you're doing when you put that paperwork into the court. You heard me? But, uh, if a more is pulled over and fits into one of the categories listed in the uh, right to travel, if you have your right to travel, then this is how you must conduct yourself. Once pulled over and a police officer asks you for your driver's license, registration, and insurance, present your instruments to them. Try as often as possible to always have other moors or someone traveling with you so you can have witnesses and record the incident as it happens. Once you present your instruments, ask what the probable cause is. Now, a lot of people don't understand that a probable cause is very detrimental. It is totally different attitude from being pulled over for a busted tail light than being suspected of murder. So you don't want to, you're going to be able to tell the police uh, uh, attitude uh, of rip whenever they come to the window. That's why you make sure you ask them what was the probable cause. You know, you want to make sure you'll get caught up in no, no nonsense, right? Now, if the police officer continues to inquire about the instruments or if you ever used another name, so on and so forth, then you want to let them know that you are going to invoke your rights to remain silent and say nothing because they don't read you your rights anymore. The Supreme Court said they ain't got to read you your rights anymore because it's up to every citizen to know what their rights are. If you don't know what your rights are, how can you defend yourself? See, this is why we have revolutionary hour. You feel me? <laughs> and we got to get this information to you. That way you can actually utilize it in the best way possible. You heard me? And if you don't know what your rights are, they can railroad you 100%. Now, police officers want to arrest Moors every chance they encounter Moors. So do not give them extra ammo by running and blabbing your mouth. If he or she is asking more questions, he is only doing so so that they can make an arrest. This is what happened to Corey Gaines. She was falsely educated so that she utilized steps that shouldn't have never been utilized. And God bless her soul, she has been taken away from her son, her child, her children. You know, she would never be able to actually invoke or or be able to, to live righteously with her rights. You know, because of the education that was brought to her saying that she could argue with the police because she see another boy do it on a on, on, a YouTube and they just so happen to give uh, I, I, you can say a good cop or a police that really didn't want to deal with the drama and they really wasn't after actually after them you know what I'm saying but they started a whole debate with this man that he don't know anything about what they're talking about and yeah they end up sometimes sliding but you got to remember those are the ones that make it to YouTube because they was actually able to slide there's a lot of us out here that actually lost our lives because we thought we knew what we was talking about because of the false education that's been going on that has inducted the sovereign citizen movement and UCC uh, statutes and things of that nature you know uniform commercial codes now not saying that they don't hold precedence but you got to understand how to actually go about these things so once you have invoked your right to silence you know uh they that's when you wait for your day in court to talk to the judge or the magistrate who has to abide by constitutional law point plain and simple you cannot fight the police the police hey they got guns and they scared so they will use them so please do not fight these people man let these people be scared and shaking their boots and leave them alone continue to do what you do 
But you got to be able to know how. You got to know how. Now, unless there's some serious health issues or whatever when you're being arrested and you don't don't say nothing to them. You can you can request uh, or you excuse me, excuse me, you can infer that you want your hands uh handcuffed in front of you. There's no uh the only reason they put it in back of you really is for uh it's really for uh um uh, discomfort pretty much i mean when you're sitting in the back i can tell you from experience sitting in the back of that cop car with your hands handcuffed behind your back on that raid to the county jail that is the most oh i can't stand it no <laughs> i can't man that's the worst you know what i say you feel it really feel like you can't do nothing it's just for discomfort though so they can i have asked for them to arrest me uh, by putting handcuffs on with my hands in front of me and they have complied with that now remember Complying is giving them jurisdiction. However, you can always assert that they was that it was given up under uh, disrest and coercion. This way, whenever it comes up, it can be thrown out because no contract is void if it was signed up under coercion or duress. And by you giving them jurisdiction, that was giving them a verbal contract. But if it was up under duress and coercion, it, it is no good. But you cannot fight them about it. You have to bring this up in court on your day in court. So as you can see, we have the sheriff who can arrest people and then we have the police who only detain people. So as long as you understand this, you will understand exactly how to go about these situations. You know, uh, you because once you get into the sh- once the police take you to the sheriff, then that's when the sheriff puts forth the police report to the judge and gets an arrest warrant for you to be taken upstairs or take it to your dorm, dressed out and take it to your dorm and put it and give it a mattress. That's when you're arrested. Until then, as long as you are in processing, you are only detained. So be quiet. Let them do their job. You do your job when you hit the courthouse. You hear me? Now, I stressed, I cannot stress this enough. I cannot stress this enough that we have to be able to keep our cool. Now, I know what you're saying, man. I see black people all the time. Uh, It's all on YouTube. The man who got out of his truck in the middle of the uh, the street had his hands up in the air and they still shot him down. Yes, it's, it's unfortunate that it will happen. But if we continue to do these things the right way, I guarantee you that we can end up being like that township in Florida, nonetheless, that got rid of their police department. I mean, we're talking about Florida. If Florida can have a town that got rid of their police department, any state can get rid of their police department. I'm sorry. I'm not. I, I, you're not going to have me believe that the police are a necessity, especially when the Constitution only really calls for the sheriff. Now, I keep saying that. And I know I keep getting looked at crazy because you know, everybody wants to say that they're on the same side. They are only on the same side because y'all keep electing these people. Y'all keep electing these good old boys. You keep not taking your rightful place amongst the affairs of men and handling your own. I seen a video with your boy Killer Mike today. Made, he went off on them. He pretty much told them, we are fighting to say that we have the best slave master. That's pretty much what we're doing. We keep talking about Hillary. We keep talking about Trump. We're talking about Biden. Talking about Trump. We're talking about all these different Democratic uh, Democrats that's running for president. All we're doing is asking for another slave master. And he said one thing to me. That he said one thing that resonated with me, man. He said, instead of picking one of them, how about we get our agenda together? And then we bring it to all of them and see if they can agree on every aspect, every point in that agenda. Come to them with a 10-point agenda and see which... Which candidate is more viable to be able to give you what you're asking for? As long as we keep listening to them run their mouth about what they can do for us, do for them, they can make empty promises like crazy. I mean, look at Trump. Trump made, uh, you know what? I'm going to take that back. Trump really don't even make too many empty promises. At least he tries to go about what he believes in, even though it ain't what the rest of the country, uh, most of the other country believe in. But we still got to remember, he still is in a position right now where he can be able to assert any authority that he wants. And that's what we don't need. So we need to be able to take our power from them. How do you do that? Well, we already talked about that in several other different Revolutionary Hour shows. So I suggest if you listen to this right now, to go through all of our different shows and listen to them. Because it's a lot that we have to do. Starting from civics, economics, spiritualism, and all. You know, it's not just, we keep fighting over 
who is what. I mean, I even I do it sometimes. You know, what I'm saying, I, I, for the most part, I do be wanting to know what's up with pro black Christians. How do we do that? You know, what I'm saying, hey, if you can explain that to me and, and, and to where it makes sense, I will hear you out. I will hear you out. But I really just I don't understand pro black Christians. Black Christians, like I said, I get them. Pro black Christians, eh, that's kind of because <laughs> if you're going back to your roots, your roots wasn't in Christianity. It wasn't. Now, if you just say that you want to be a black person and you want to worship Christ, different story. I uphold your beliefs. I uphold your right to your beliefs. You know what I'm saying? I would never challenge you in your beliefs because at least you are true to what you believe in. But if you're not true to what you believe in, yes, I will call you out on what you're doing. I- I'm just saying I will do it. And, and so we got to understand what thing and what thing only your rights. Once you know what your rights are and once you know how to read. Everything else, it falls in line. That's real. All right, this is your boy, Mr. E. Boss of the Southside Bosses on Revolutionary Hour. And y'all, hey, thank you for listening in. I want y'all to follow us on Southside Boss Connection on Instagram, man, Facebook, SBC Movement on Twitter. You can follow me personally, BOS, uh, Boss of the Southside Bosses on Instagram as well. If you ain't already gone to our website at www.sbcmovement.com and followed our website, you need to do that. And you can follow our radio station at www.spreaker, that S-P-E, I'm sorry, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R dot com forward slash M-R underscore E. Or you can just click the chat button right there. Where you'll see a chat pop up in just a moment, you'll see a little uh, that little bubble that that that's, that that right there that look like somebody be talking in right there, like that they own comic books and stuff like that. You could be able to find our website right there. So y'all definitely need to go ahead and look us up, and we'll definitely have everything ready for you. We want y'all to prosper. We do. We do want y'all to prosper. And if you ain't ready to prosper, then get ready to prosper because it's get it's finna come to a time where we're gonna need to be able to prosper. Seriously, we're seriously going to need to be able to prosper. So we ask y'all to follow us. And if you got any suggestions, any topics you want to talk about, or if you need to re-educate me on something that I said was wrong, I welcome all of it. You can definitely, like I say, find us on Facebook, Southside Boss Connection. You can vote, join our group page at True Heritage on Facebook and let me know what I said was wrong. Prove me that I said it was wrong. I need to stu- I would study and show myself approve it and I will come back on the show. I even invite you on the show so that you could be able to explain what I have wrong and educate me. Because education is all we need right now. We can't get education and we ain't gonna be able to get much out of life. You feel me? Alrighty. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. I hope y'all learned something today. And I definitely want y'all to tune back in next week as we talk about food. And how they are slipping these ugh, these fillers in our food that we ain't supposed to be eating. And they ain't even telling you about it because they don't have to tell you about it. I wonder how they do that. Well, we're going to be talking about that with Connie Moore from XO Radio and, and Lofton and Lofton Records. We'll be talking to her about that next week. So tune in next Tuesday for Revolutionary Hour, baby. It's going down, you heard me. B.O.S.S. Radio. B.O.S.S. Radio. This is the Revolutionary Hour. We out here in the trenches. Every day trying to get it. We live and die for the dollar. Yeah. Unlimited. They say money is the root. Get it. Feeling like Omar Epps when Pop fell off the roof. Got to live with no regrets. What a real nigga do. That's cause and effect. Some choose to break the rules. I'm blessed with the Jews. Use the pain as my fuel. Uh-huh. Ten youngers on the corner pushing work. Call them muse. Shawty rather catch a dog and learn that shit in school. Wanna cry about the bills. Rent too much overdue. I hear the money calling niggas. It's time to make power moves. Power moves. If the streets is what you choose, just know one day your dog may turn on you. Your dog may turn on you. For that dollar, I'ma let the angels holler. holler. I see it every day. These youngins out here starving, looking for a better way. Unaware of the knowledge. I know tomorrow ain't promised. I hope God hears calling. We live and die for the dollar. 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 The single mother struggling with two, one in the oven. The pressure's on daddy, not home all of a sudden. She hold it down, wearing a crown, can't tell her nothing.
nothing like a jungle makes her wonder how she keep from going under. Convicted felon lost hope on his last appeal. Moving dope to provide his family a decent meal. God, is he wrong for surviving, getting it how he lived? Doing 34, birdie lock behind the cold steel. Cold steel. Working the white man's job, they treat you like a slave. You feel the pain on your back without the whips and chains. This shit ain't designed for you, it's all commercial gain. We live and die for the dollar, call it minimum wage. Dear God, these crackers trying to kill us. Bring down Exodus before they squeeze another trigger. Technology brainwashing all my little children, planting bad seeds, corrupting minds by the millions. Do you feel it every day? These youngers out here starving, looking for a better way. Unaware of the knowledge. I know tomorrow ain't promised. I hope God heals calling. We live and die for the dollar. 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 This is the revolutionary album. Oh man, feels so good. Ah, feels good to be back in the studio. Back writing poems, you know what I'm saying? I feel good. Great. Life is so grand, uh uh-uh, no, I can't complain. If you wanna change some things, you can't do the same old things. What you mad at the next man for? You can get your grind on too. Get your butt at the bed, stop sleeping in, way, way past two. Or you want them brand new Jordans, but you can't afford them. So you're plotting on the next man to take his and destroy him. Oh my god. What a crap move on your part. Shows you have no heart. That's no life but darkness. Yes, ignorance is bliss. Chill with the big kiss, but they don't wanna hear this. They rather hear me spit rounds, get down, how a nigga drip down, lay down, put a red dot on a nigga's face like a click click clown. No, never that, gotta spit facts, let them know what's going on. Little kids tuning in, gotta touch them with my get get so poems. Every day we dine in the hood from the self inflicted wounds. So tell me why I wanna hear it in another brother for foolish tunes. Yeah, let me get back to the topic. Most of y'all cats need to stop it. I'm y'all mean on these beats. Y'all need high to a hobbit. Please tell me this your hobby, cause your sound just a little sloppy. No, I can't hear, see you do, cause your sound just a little choppy. Really, when you talk about yourself and your wealth, that's so redundant. At life, you the first, but so many rappers already done it. Oh, you stuntin' and ballin', your swag turned up. You tow up, you got drink in your solo cup. So, so, sober up and stop, stop throwing up. We got young dudes out here dying. Man, so what the fuck? What you trying to prove? Who you trying to move? That's what little boys do. Throwing up gang signs, you 25 still claiming a crew. What you gonna do when the Reaper man start creeping up on you? Take a stance with your pants, I bet your whole dang face turned all blue. What you gonna do when the Reaper man start closing in on you? Take a stance with your pants, I bet your whole dang face turned all blue. And yeah, despite all the self glorification and the negativity in hip hop, I feel good. I'm back, back on my grind, I feel good man, that's right, Uh uh-huh, I feel good, (laughs) yes sir, God loves ugly, that's right, Uh -uh 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 uh-uh-uh, uh-uh. Radio. 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 Radio.